So Pixverse AI released their new feature of consistent character in their videos, which means now with the help of Pixverse AI, you can go ahead and select any image as a character and create videos with different scenarios out of that. So yeah, let's just go ahead and explore that out. All right, guys, so here I am in my Pixverse.ai homepage. So this is basically a wonderful platform for text to video generation. So I basically covered the whole in-depth tutorial of this tool on my channel. So if you want, you can definitely check it out. But today in this video, the new release feature that we're going to talk about is character reference in your videos. OK, so here you guys can see we have a new option now, which is character. So now over here, you can basically create your character. So if I go ahead and click on this create character button right over here. So over here, you can go ahead and upload the images of your character that you want to go ahead and use it as character reference. Okay, so you can drag your image. So let's just say if I upload image of myself over here as my character. So let's just go ahead and take this image. So after that, you can go ahead and simply name your character. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And lastly, uh, you can go ahead and click on this create character and your character will be created. All right. All right. So here are uh, the few characters that I have created. So first of all, I have a character of myself and then I have created a character of Tom Holland as well, which I'll be playing around in this video as well. All right. So first of all, if I jump into text to video generation in Pixverse.ai, so I click on this create button and over here, uh, you guys can see we have the option of text to video generation, image to video generation, which we already covered. Forward. but now the new option that we get is character right so if you click on that so first of all you can simply type in your prompt then you can click on this auto correct prompt so this will basically take the image of the character that you input and it will create the videos out of that all right so then you have the option of negative prompt and then you can select character from here okay so we have tom holland and myself okay so first of all if i select myself as a character and then you can go ahead and select the aspect ratio uh, which can be 16 by 9 9 by 16 1 by 1 and then you can go ahead and select seed as well okay so first of all if i go ahead and type this prompt in my prompt box which is basically instagram model male wearing black jacket posing front facing okay and then in the negative prompt i can go ahead and type anything that i want that i don't want to see in my video so it can be like ugly face deformation blur or something like that okay and after that if you click on generate so it will take around a minute or so to create the creation for you so here is the result you guys like take a look at this video wow this looks absolutely perfect right so this was a reference image and with the help of that it created this result which is instagram model wearing black jacket posing front facing so yeah, this video look absolutely perfect. Like take a look at the details of the face that it captured. And yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic, right, you guys? And after that, I can go ahead and play around with different prompts. And I can create different generation. Like I created this video, which is a young male model in a black tuxedo at a red carpet event. So yeah, this video looks absolutely perfect, right, you guys? And then uh, the other creation that I made is this which is male model in a black winter coat walking in a snowy landscape. So, wow, check out this video. Yeah, we have some kind of a deformation in the eyes. But other than that, if we talk about the face details and everything, yeah, this looks really, really good, right? And the another cool generation we created is this, which is a fashionable male model in a black jacket on a rooftop at sunset. So, yeah, you guys can see our face is perfectly lined up. We have all the details of myself in the video. Yeah, this looks really, really good as well. And then the last one, we have a street style male model in black jeans and jacket skateboarding in an urban setting. OK, so yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic as well, right? OK, so next, let's just go ahead and take our next character. So I'm going to take Dom Holland uh, this time and I'm going to go ahead and take three to four prompts and see how they're going to turn out. Uh, for my character reference in video generation, okay? So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and say male fitness model in athletic wear doing a workout routine. And our negative prompt is going to be the same. The character is Tom Holland. And yeah, rest. Let's just go ahead and do that and create this video. And for the next example, I'm going to go ahead and say trendy male model in a black casual wear exploring a forest, okay? So our character is going to be the same. Let's just create this as well. And for the last example, I'm going to go ahead and take it as some kind of a news anchor. So I'm going to say male model in a black suit 
front facing delivering a news report. Okay, let's just create this as well and wait for our generations. All right. All right. Wow. So take a look at these videos, you guys. So first of all, uh, we have male fitness model in athletic. We're doing a workout routine. So we have clearly, you know, Tom Holland features guy uh, in this video. So it looks really, really good. Then the second one, we have a trendy male model in black casual. We're exploring a forest. So yeah. You guys can clearly see we do have the attributes of our character right in the video. The video looks really, really good. So we don't have some kind of uh, a swear deformation or something like that. The video look absolutely fantastic, right? And the last one, if you see, if we have a male model in a black suit front facing delivering a news report. So yeah, uh, the video looks good at the start, but at the end, yeah, we do have some kind of a deformation. But other than that, uh, this feature is in like testing phase beta mode, so it will get better a time to time. Okay. All right. So last, let's just go ahead and create a new character. So this time I'll be creating a female character. So for that, we're going to go ahead and click on this plus button. And over here, you can now upload your image. All right. So I have selected Taylor Swift as my next character. So I'm going to go ahead and upload image of Taylor Swift right over here. All right. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and simply name my character as Taylor and click on create character. All right. Okay. So it's created successfully, it says. All right. And after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and simply select Taylor as a character. And then let's just go ahead and simply type our prompts right over here. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and say front facing female model in a red evening gone striking a dramatic pose let's just go ahead and create this first of all and after that i'm gonna go ahead and say front uh sorry female model in a blue denim outfit front facing leaning against a brick wall all right this will be our second generation and the last one is gonna be female model in a pink track suit front facing jumping in the air with joy okay let's just create these three and let's wait for our output Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. So here are the results. Wow. Those look really, really good. So first of all, we have front facing female model in a red evening gown, striking uh, a dramatic pose. Yeah. This looks really, really good. Right, guys. And the second one we have was a female model in a blue denim outfit facing leaning against a brick wall. All right. Yeah. The video looks really, really good as well. And the last one, uh, we had was female model in a prank track suit, front facing jumping in the air with joy. So yeah, clearly in this video, we have a swear deformation. Yeah, the face details are lost and it doesn't look that good. But other than that, uh, the accuracy of the video, female model in pink track suit, jumping in the air with joy. Yeah, this looks, uh, yeah, okay. But yet the character reference, uh, yeah, it has some uh, kind of a problem in that, right? And one last thing you can do uh, with Pixverse AI is also you can click on this upscale button and you can upscale uh, the video till 4x, which is really, really cool as well. All right, guys. So yeah, there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of the new character reference feature of Pixverse AI in your video. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.